Welcome to the Daily Writer Podcast, where we bring you tips and inspiration each day to help you build habits for writing success. For more resources, including your free Daily Writer Starter Kit, visit dailywriterlife.com. Today's episode is for all the kids who were always picked last in middle school gym class, and you know who I'm talking about. Well, I was one of those kids, and I remember what it was like, and if you were one of those kids, maybe you do too. You'd stand there awkwardly with the group, each kid getting their name called by one of the team captains, and one by one, they disappeared from their ranks, and they stood in line with the chosen ones. And then it would get down to the last few kids. Every time you hoped that you wouldn't be the last one who got picked, and maybe this time somebody would actually pick you. But once again, it got down to four, then three, then two, and by the end, you were the only one left. So you fell in line behind the other kids while the captain rolled their eyes because they just had to choose you and they've got to put up with you and they've got to have you on their team. And it wasn't so much that you were chosen, you just kind of landed there by default. You know, a lot of writers spend their whole lives waiting to be chosen. They spend their lives kind of in this mode of, well, I'll just wind up wherever it is that I wind up. They're waiting for some publisher or some literary agent or some blogger, some Amazon reviewer or some person on social media to sit up and take notice. But here's the truth. You've got to choose yourself. You don't need anybody to validate you as a writer. You can self-validate. If you're doing the work of a writer, which simply means that you're writing, then you can call yourself a writer, plain and simple. One of my favorite musicians of all time, Thelonious Monk, he was a jazz artist. He said, whatever you think can't be done, somebody will come along and do it. And I want you to let those words sink in. In fact, let me read them again. He said, whatever you think can't be done, somebody will come along and do it. And I want you to be that person who comes along and does it. I want you to take charge. I want you to own yourself. I want you to choose yourself. Don't just stand still and let other people pass you by. This is your time. This is your moment. You've got to choose yourself. And the cool thing about all this is, is that whenever you start choosing yourself, other people will start choosing you also. And that's because you have this renewed sense of motivation and assertiveness and confidence. You've got what it takes, I promise you. Writing is not about being Shakespeare or being the most prolific person in the world or you know, being the person who won all the awards or whatever. And those things are all fine. But being a writer just means that you write. You just get the words done. You do some editing. You put them out there into the world, and I know I'm greatly simplifying the process, but we make this way more complicated than it needs to be. You are a writer if you're writing. So choose yourself, get the work done, put yourself out there, be confident, because I promise you have some really cool gifts that other people need to experience. You have words that people need to read. So here's today's challenge. Simply ask yourself, how can you choose yourself today? How can you be the one who picks you out of the crowd and says, hey, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to promote myself. I'm going to be confident and assertive. I'm just going to lean into it because I have something of value to offer to the world. That's today's thought. And before I close up shop here on this episode, I want to give a big thanks to today's sponsor, the Writer's Talk app. Did you know that 81% of people say they want to write a book, but only 5% of people actually follow through with it? So if you're one of those people who's always wanted to write, but you don't know how to get started, I think you're going to really love the Writer's Talk app. When you join, you get immediate access to hundreds of instructional videos, a tool to help you come up with more ideas, and best of all, a community where you can collaborate with other authors. Writer's Talk is only $4.99 a month. That's less probably than you're going to spend getting a grande caramel macchiato at Starbucks. At least that's what I always get. My wife makes fun of me because I always get the same thing, but I like it. I mean, what can I say? So when you get the Writer's Talk app, it's actually less than you're probably going to pay at Starbucks for one single drink. So that's pretty cheap, and it's really, really cool. So check it out. Go to writerstalk.app, and I think you're really going to enjoy this. So check it out. As always, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.